All right, I just wanted to do a video showing a really blasphemous heresy in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, which I have a copy of right here, the Catechism of the Catholic Church, uh, about Mary. This is what they have to say about Mary. They actually say that Mary is who makes the church holy and perfect. And there's other parts of the Second Vatican Council where they talk about Mary is who provides salvation. So you got this Catholic Catechism. This is in paragraph number 829. Let's just see what it says in paragraph number 829 about Mary supposedly making the church holy and pure. Let me just move this mic a little bit forward. Catholic Church Catechism, paragraph number 829. This is what it says. It says, uh, where is it? There. It says, but while, it says, but while in the most blessed virgin, the church has already reached that perfection, whereby she exists without spot and wrinkle, the faithful still strive to conquer sin and increase in holiness, and so they turn their eyes to Mary. In her, the church is already the all-holy. So this catechism right here literally says that Mary is who makes you perfect and holy, and if you want to have your sins purified, you turn, to, you look, you, you turn your eyes to Mary. Um, that's blasphemy, by the way, because Jesus Christ is who makes the church holy and pure. Here is, and, and by the way, too, it's kind of funny because in the footnotes of that, they actually reference Ephesians chapter 5, verse 26 and 27. But let's go to that. Ephesians chapter 5, let's go down to verse 23, down to verse 27, and see what it says, okay? It's Jesus Christ who purifies and makes the saints clean. Just a bit of a, a spoiler there. It's Jesus Christ who does that, not Mary. So the Catholic Church is just a religion that, it's, it's full of blasphemy, like Revelation chapter 17, verse 1 to 6 talks about. But Ephesians chapter 5, verse 23 to 27. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. Uh, yeah, one sec. And the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Uh, it says, Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself, a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, that it, might, that it should be holy and without blemish. It's Jesus Christ who makes you, makes you holy and without blemish, not Mary. In fact, Mary had to be purified. You read Luke chapter 2, verse 22 to 24, compared with Leviticus chapter 12, verse 1 to 7, Mary still had to purify herself after giving birth to Jesus. Why? Because she was still a sinner just like everybody else. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 12 to 17. More scriptures. Just going to list off a couple of scriptures on the fact that Jesus Christ is who purifies you, not Mary. Uh, which goes against the, this very blasphemous Roman Catholic heresy. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 12 to uh, 17. That, that, sorry, that at that time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope and without God in the world. But now in Christ Jesus, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For he is our peace, uh, who hath made both one and hath broken down in the middle the wall of partition between us, having abolished in his fleshy enmity even the law of the commandments contained in the ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace, and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you who were afar off and, and, to, them, and to them that were nigh. Again, you see this emphasis of Jesus Christ is who makes us nigh to God. It's Jesus Christ who, who brought peace to the cross. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18 down to verse 21. 2 Corinthians. Again, this flies in the face of this blasphemous Roman Catholic heresy. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 18 down to verse 21. And all things are of God, who hath, recon who hath, who hath reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ, not Mary, and hath given to us the ministry of reconciliation, to wit that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself, not imputing their trespasses unto him, and hath committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Now then, we are ambassadors for Christ, not Mary, uh, as though God did beseech you by us, we pray you in Christ said, be reconciled to God. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we might be made the righteousness of God in him. It's Jesus Christ who makes the righteousness, righteousness of God, not Mary. Uh, contrary to this the blasphemous Catholic heresy. Uh, Colossians chapter 1, verse 20, down to verse 22. Colossians 1, 20, down to verse 22. 
And having made peace through the blood of his cross, by him to reconcile all things unto himself, by him I say, whether they be things in earth or in heaven, and you that were sometime alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now hath he reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. In Colossians chapter 2, verse 13 to 14. Another relevant scripture on the matter, Colossians chapter 2, verse 13 to 14. And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, hath he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, blotting out the handwriting or ordinances that was against us, which is which was contrary to us, and took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Okay. All right, sorry about that. I uh, accidentally hit stop recording when I was playing around with the mouse. But like I was saying, it's Jesus Christ who's seen the scriptures. Jesus Christ is who gives eternal life. It's not Mary. Jesus Christ is the way of salvation. Acts chapter 4, verse 10 to 12, and John chapter 14, verse 6. Not Mary. Mary still needs need a Savior. I think it's Luke chapter 1, verse 46 to 47, I believe it is. And, and 48 as well, by the way. Uh, Mary still needs a Savior. Jesus Christ is who gives you salvation. The Roman Catholic Church is full of just full of all kinds of wicked blasphemy just like this. And don't tell me they don't worship Mary. If you're having to turn to Mary for your salvation, turn to Mary to be holy, you worship her plain and simple. Roman Catholicism is just the ancient goddess worship of Babylon, ancient Egypt, and the Greco-Roman heathens repackaged. So don't be deceived by Roman Catholicism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.